behind the scenes and insider information. So I am on the fifth floor. Uh, this is my first night here. It's been super quiet. You can see I have a super cute kitchen um, all in white. So it's also great for filming content. And I've got uh, my Herbalife with me. I've got protein coffee right now, beverage mix, sunscreen, because it is a must, tablets. And they really, really equipped it really well. I also wanted to show that. So I've literally got pots and pans to cook. I've got a stove top that's super efficient and uh, set up. And I've used one of these in Tulum before at Diana's place. And this is through Gap. I got this through Gap Real Estate on Airbnb microwave and I'll turn on the light because I think I, yeah, it looks better as far as the, I definitely will not be filming more content. Um, then I've got, um, of course, kitchen dishes, trash, all the things. So you can see all the dishes, everything that you could possibly need for living out of your suitcase. <laughs> My parents think I'm crazy. Uh, more, more. Oh, this is, I also wanted to show you this. So not every Airbnb in place comes equipped with all this, which I also really love. We've got a toaster. I've also got a coffee maker, a blender that I'll definitely be using. So super well equipped. Let me turn off this light. And then I also travel with my Mickey Mouse cup and my Herbalife cup. There's certain things I always bring with me. Then you've got a, you know, table to eat slash workspace. I still have some protein coffee there. I've got here my, you can see I was doing some stuff earlier, my tripod. I just got some wireless mics because I had a lavalier mic and I have it and it's really good to film like from the computer. But when I'm filming like workouts or different things that I wanna do a voiceover, the lavalier is a pain because you can only go with the cord so far. So I invested in a wireless mic. Then I've got here, um, I just got this on Amazon maybe a month ago. It's such a great tablet and it was inspired. I saw someone with Herbalife have this. So it focuses on like what you've heard, heard Barbie say over and over and over in some of the clips. It's the best day ever and today and tomorrow and the day after, like it's always the best day ever. So it helps you think about like all the areas of your life, any appointments, how you're eating at a glance. So I already had um, two meals, then snacks, food, and then what I'm grateful for, and of course this morning, I'm grateful to be in Mexico in this beautiful apartment, Playa del Carmen, about to go on the rooftop. I'll show you guys the rooftop. Yes, there is a rooftop pool. One of my requirements was not only to have, of course, a kitchen space, but also a balcony and a rooftop and a pool. So that way, even days that I'm spending all day, you know, at quote unquote home, it feels great and especially like after yesterday and the day before traveling then you have um, you know to-do list urgent and important not urgent but important and then what i learned today and then also my water intake greens intake so i like that it has like wellness wealth business all in one on a one pager but i also to reinforce things use a passion planner and i also have a journal um, i can do all things through christ who strengthens me you can see my um, Polaroid, it was actually a gift from my brother and sister-in-law and niece and nephew. Beats are a must to travel with. And then 31 prayers for my future husband. Did a prayer this morning. Then um, you can see this behind the scenes and like has a great little mini entertainment center. A TV with Netflix. I bring my vision board with me so I stay focused. This vision board I actually talked about in detail on my vision workshop. It's on also on my YouTube channel, so you can check that out. And I'll link it so it's easy for you to find. And you can see, so every year I've been doing a now vision board for five plus years. And you can see um, this one comes with a ton of cards and it is in the front says you can do big things. You can find it on Amazon. It is Lamare or Lamar. And I think it was like $40. I could be off on the price, so don't quote me on that. And you pick the cards intentionally in the messaging that you want. So for me, it was all about focusing on worthy. I'm creating the life of my dreams, good vibes only, and financial freedom. And every single thing I picked has a lot of intention behind it, like wellness, smoothie bowls, working, community, travel, finances, wealth, and flow. Um, self-care and love, hopefully getting a dog, but it's interesting because I just helped a friend of mine 
take care of, the, friends of mine take care of their two dogs. Beach, which I'm literally here in Playa del Carmen. Beautiful kitchen and home space, focusing on love and engagement and marriage. And I've definitely taken some steps there. Travel together, more community, you can see. Uh, free diving, water, travel, financial freedom. Then this beautiful card, love you, mean it, is from the social curator team in Jasmine Star. I brought it with me. Uh, I was selected as social curator of the month last year, and I got a box box full of lots of self-care treats and this beautiful card from Jasmine and the team. It's time to shower you with love. We see you showing up and working hard in social curator. This group is amazing because of you. I literally got it, you guys, I think the first or second month that I joined. So that was and is an honor. Uh, you can see a chair, the mini sofa, the bed is super comfy. And like I mentioned, one of my requirements was a balcony. So let me show you the balcony. Um, super quiet, I already slept here one night. Like I can hear some noises next door. Uh, so you can see here. So I wanted this for journaling. I wanted this for reflections. I wanted this to create content, film workouts. The view isn't the best, like I would love a beach view, but at this time. And then going back in. And then I love that there's these two cabinets to help me organize my life. And so a couple of things I wanted to show you guys too. Uh, this is my carry-on, American Tourister. I got these this time to organize the, their back ale via Amazon. So I keep in the big one, the, you know, different, more dressier things, then gym stuff and more cash things, then beach wear. Um, and then there's a smaller one I'll show you later with intimates. Uh, so this is a cute shirt I got from Shine, a one, uh, one piece with skorts. It looks like a dress. Um, you can see some of my, this dress, my mom, and dad got me in Bulgaria. I love Mickey Mouse. So, and I love all the colors. And then this, I actually had a video recently on Instagram. I love this dress. Another green dress. You can see my themes are always pink, blue, green now for years. One of my favorite skirts from Rachel L. Um, she's a designer. You can find her on Insta. I tag her often. And also on Shine. This is a super cute skirt from there a onesie sleeveless uh, pink top, green top that I got in Portugal. This is from Shine. It's also designed by Rachel, super cute. And then this dress, I got an amazing fabric in Atlanta and it was an incredible deal. I think it was like $30 uh, from like 200 or something cray cray. Um, as far as deal wise, now you can see kind of the size of all this. It's like design, like an efficiency. But I love the layout because it's not just in one big room. It's separated really well. Then, and the bed was super comfy. Walk over here. And this one is, um, I definitely will not be wearing a sweatshirt and jeans in Playa. This side I made more casual. So this is like my beach cover up, a beachy dress, gym clothes, my gym, literal, literally gym shirt. I did it shine. Um, one off shoulder shirt, tank leggings. Um, these I got from Carbon 38. Uh, these are from Shine, the super colorful ones, these. And then those are K-Deer. I'm sad because they are no longer after the pandemic. Some laundry. And then I brought three pairs of shoes. I've got my Nike high tops, water shoes, and then sandals that are great for everyday walking as well as um, exploring, adventuring, etc. I've got um, the one pair of high heels. My backpack and then this water bag I actually bought in Costa Rica when I was going on a snorkeling adventure. And it's great because when you're on the beach by yourself or a cenote or anything, you can put your phone in there, your camera, your water bottle, your um, wallet, phone, everything, and it doesn't get wet and your things are with you. Then I've got my purse slash miscellaneous things. So Mickey Mouse purse from my parents one year, a coach bag that's like a travel bag that's been super faithful for years, a beautiful purse from Bolivia that I got from my friend Silvana, this um, beautiful Way You bag I bought in Colombia last year, makeup bag, uh, bug spray, sunglasses, beats cover, etc. Um, 
intimates and socks and hats and gym things like my bands. I got these off Amazon. I always travel with them. Some Herbalife shorts from Ricky Apparel. And then the bathroom, last but not, oh, actually this is last for the apartment, but I will be showing you guys the rooftop as well. So here I am in my onesie that my friend's son says I look like a preschooler or toddler and I'm too young to work. Uh, beautiful sink, uh, beautiful tiles and hot water. And then I've got some beach stuff here. They included beach towels and regular towels. So there you have it. Uh, hit subscribe, uh, tag someone that would love this and be inspired by this. And side note, you guys, when you book, always check out the weekly and the monthly rates. And um, also ask about collaborations because oftentimes real estate companies especially may be looking for collaborations and or some of the skills that you may have. So comment down below, tell me your favorite part, uh, tell me what's a must when you travel. Mine have definitely changed and some of mine for Playa was also co-working spaces, digital nomad community, so I'll be sharing some of that too.